The issue of weeds costs Australia about $1.5 billion a year in terms of operations. And there is estimates of another $2.5 billion a year in losses in agricultural production. Making these things even more complicated is that some of the weed species are developing resistance to herbicides. The conversations we had with the farmers, I heard one guy say, you know, when we first got this herbicide on board, we sprayed it once a year at 25% concentration. He said, now I spray three times a year at 75% concentrations. And imagine where all that, most of that herbicide is ending up. You know, it ends up on the ground, there's a rain event, you know, it's down the river, it's in the Great Barrier Reef. There's a bunch of reasons why herbicides are great, but farmers are now left in a position where they potentially won't have a suitable solution for managing weeds into the future. Protect and classify the weeds using perception, vision systems. Soil samples, information about soil health, information from near infrared about the plant health. And once the weed is classified, then the robot can make a decision as to whether weed with a chemical agent or a mechanical method or a thermal method. Part of spectral imagery and all sorts of other things. So we can actually build a quite intelligent system and that's the whole point of the robot. All the farmers we've spoken to have been very encouraging. They want something like this in their field. But there's a lot of aerospace technology in AgBot because we knew we had to build something very light because it was going to be battery powered. So, you know, weight was a critical issue. And we knew it had to be strong because, let's face it, it's on a farm, right? It's going to see a lot of abuse. It's able to autonomously work 24 hours a day in unsupervised environments. We also wanted to reduce their reliance on fossil fuels. For me, it's about applying machine learning to the robot to make it smart. We've shown we can actually do that. Every farm has different soil types. Every farm has different uh, rainfall amounts, different weeds, different kinds of crops. Uh, the ability to have a vehicle that they could modify easily uh, is very exciting, very exciting. Farmers would be able to interface with the robot using a tablet or their phone i be able to map the boundaries of the field in which they want it to work on. When it needed to recharge or replenish, it would be able to return to its pod. As we tag ourselves as a university for the real world, what we would like is to make a real impact for farmers. You got a farming robot run off green power, no use of herbicides, no diesel fuel. Yeah, yeah, that's a great story. The issue of food security is something that is starting to appear in the agendas of every government. Pests and diseases and also having a more efficient way of uh, producing food should be of concerns to everyone. And one of the obvious things is weed management, but there are many other things I'm sure we haven't thought of yet. So I guess when I retire in 15 years, I'll be driving along with my grandkids and we'll pull off the side of the road and there'll be 10 ag boys out there working in the field and I'll say, hey kids, you know? I was part of that. It's an idea whose time has come, yeah.